Bass players, are you ready? All right, once again, we've created six more for you guys who are wanting to play a little bit more gospel. And don't worry if you're new to gospel music, just like I've done in all the other packs. And by the way, if you're not hip to these gospel jam packs that I'm creating for the bass community, you need to know about them now. I've been making these gospel packs for guys that want to learn more about gospel music, who want to improve their playing, who want to learn more about the genre. Maybe you're not going to ever step foot inside of a church, but you want to know about that gospel sound. You want to know a little bit and have a better understanding about how we do what we do. So this time I've created more tracks for you guys to work out too. I brought in professional musicians to help me create this sound. So these tracks come alive when you're playing them. You feel like you're right there on the stage playing with a full band. So you're gonna get the real feel of what cats would do in this type setting. And don't worry, it's not super complicated. There are basically two sections to the songs. There's an A section and there's a B section. It's about a minute or a minute and 30 seconds long. And you're gonna loop that and just have fun and rock out. And don't worry, these tracks are completely royalty free so you can use them on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever your place of choice to post your videos. Or if you're a person who just wants to learn in secret, that's cool. I got something for you too. So you don't have to worry about trying to figure out all of this stuff on your own when you listen to these tracks. They're banging, but you don't have to figure out all of this stuff by yourself. I am including the sheet music and tab for you guys who read or for you guys who read tab and you want to know what I'm doing. So there's an MP3 that includes my bass take. So you get a real idea of what to play around this track and you're not just out there fishing for ideas. Although it's wide open for you to do whatever you want to do on it. Not only that, as I've done with all of the bass jam packs, I'm going as far as to show you exactly. We're going to break it down. I've created instructionals for all six songs. So we're going to go through, I'm going to break down what it is I'm playing, the licks, all of it, the whole nine, you get it all, and I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to break it down. We're not going to take forever with it either. We're going to get to the good part so you can get to practicing and get to having fun on this stuff. So I invite you to check out the Straight Gospel Bass Jam Pack Volume 2. You're going to love it. Let's go. trying to do some troubleshooting with my sound and to make sure that we're good and you got you guys can actually hear the track uh, this morning I don't know if I was successful <laughs> I didn't put a lot of time in it but I did put some time in it trying to trying to troubleshoot some of this stuff but anyway how is everybody this morning be sure to drop in the comments where you're watching from hopefully everybody is well uh, I'm watching from um, Georgia not necessarily at Atlanta but outside of Atlanta Georgia more so near Athens, Georgia. So where are you watching from this morning? Be sure to drop it in the comments this morning. And uh, again, thank you all who chimed in on the last live. I see that we, we had a good bit of people who watched the last live that we did, Grooves and Motivation. So I hope you guys really, really enjoyed that. Let me turn this mic on. Let's see. I really, really hope you enjoyed that one. But anywho, just wanted to um, play a little bit for you this morning. I wanted to play some of this stuff. I haven't played it in a while. It's from it's uh, from the Straight Gospel uh, backing track. Uh, Andre, Andrew, what's up, man? Thank God it's Tuesday. Absolutely. You are not able to hear me. That's not cool. Um, let's see. Let's figure out what's going on here. cannot hear your volume drop that's crazy is it gone am i back somebody let me know
What about now? What about now? The Netherlands, the volume is a bit low. Yeah, this is, this is, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. All right, let me check something here. What about the bass? Is that low too? I'm I'm convinced that I have some little uh, minions or something that's running around changing my settings when I'm away. <laughs> anyway, let me figure out let me figure out what's going on here. Uh, hey hey, check check. The mic is still low. Bass sounds good. Maybe your mic. All right, what about the what about the mic? I see it's still low. Never mind. Hey, 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 hey. the weirdest thing <laughs> all right what about now that seemed like that should be a little better i'm not sure though probably the same <laughs> i'm in love with the bass all right maybe by the, the top of the year we'll try it again and see if anything changed at all uh <laughs> Cool. Glad something is better. That helps. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I am. Uh, this is beyond me. I'm literally. I'm telling you guys. I literally have not changed anything, and it it just it's weird. Like what's whatever's going on. It that's very weird. Very weird to me. So uh, all I know, I just I just work through it, right? <laughs> But anywho, uh, I wanted to play some of these tracks, and I hope uh, I hope that I can get away with this without it feeding back. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna try this one. I, I haven't went over anything uh, as far as these songs because it's just it came to me just a minute ago. It's like, oh, you know, it'd be cool to play through some of those. Uh, just kind of let you guys hear them. You already heard some of them, but I want her to hear it again. Let's see here if I can pull it up. Let's see, that's this. So give me a thumbs up if you could hear that. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear that. I'm gonna play it again, a different one. But let me know, give me a thumbs up if you can hear it. Sweet. I see a thumbs up. If you hear the backing track, give me a thumbs up in the comments. Not necessarily on the what you can do. You can do a like too. Thank you. 
The tracks that I'm playing for are from the Straight Gospel Bass Jam Volume 2, the, the commercial that you guys heard before. Floppy T, good morning to you, sir. I uh, hope everyone had a, a good Christmas, a good holiday season. Um, John says, can't find the thumb, but it's okay now, good deal. Uh, let's see here. And anybody else I haven't spoke to this morning, good morning to you all. Hopefully everyone is well. And uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Let me try something uh, to not get some of this feedback that I'm getting. I'm going to cut my monitors off because how I'm having to do this is a little weird. And I'm going to see if this changes anything. Bear with me. All right. All right, that, that might work a little bit. India is in the building. Good morning to you. What's that? K-Shap? Good morning to you. Um... Here's another one called Joyful Praise, another one that I haven't played in a, a long time, but I'm going to see how this how this works. Uh, it's cool, though. I'm putting myself on the spot, making myself remember this stuff. I created all of these tracks. Uh, as the commercial uh, said, I created all these tracks. I brought in some professional musicians to help me play this music, uh, but I did write all the music, arrange all the music. The idea behind creating this stuff was to give bass players, people who are interested in gospel music, an opportunity to play something uh, that feels like something that we would play on Sunday morning, something in church, uh, or something that has the type of movements that we would normally do in gospel music to get people comfortable uh, with playing that style of music. So it's not super complicated, as you can hear. There are two sections to the music. You have like an A section and a B section. So it just gives you the idea of a lot of this music and helps you to kind of navigate and helps you to develop some things that you're thinking about playing over this stuff or some maybe some ideas. Hey, I wonder if this would work. So you have those two sections that you can kind of try out those ideas. There's nothing like uh, having something that helps you to put stuff into context because a lot of times with these bass lessons and that type thing, people can give you a lot of concepts, but you're not sure how they work in context. So, you know, I just really wanted to give you some of that stuff. So here's another one. Uh, let's see here. What is this one? I don't even remember. It. Let's see here. Did I lose my bass? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, something like that. Anyway, uh, somebody was asking, can you play some jazz groove? K Shap, is this your first time here? I'm not sure if I've seen your name um, before, but uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Welcome to the channel. I'll see if I get to some of that. Um, there's a groove that I had pulled up here as well, another one. But yeah, the, the name of that track is So Thankful. So again, you have a lot of that different stuff. It gives you the BPM, so if you want to drop it in your uh, recording DAW, whatever you use to record music, you can do that. Record yourself playing it. If you want to post yourself playing it, you can do that as well. But anyway, good morning again to everybody that's, that's joining me here on the live. Let's see if I can pull up another groove here, another one that I haven't played. Y'all making me be on, my, be on my toes this morning.
I didn't know that was happening. The type behind the chainsaws. I got an ad going. So, again, hopefully everyone is well. I miss your comments here. Let me turn this reverb off. What about that? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> I missed some other comments here. Analyze. Love your groove. You stay in sync with the drums. Well, hey, man. Thank you for that. Uh, Alex Alexander Wright, good morning from Mississippi. Mississippi, home, hometown uh, is from Mississippi there. So, Alex, good to see you. Go, well, good to hear from you this morning. Uh, Sasa says, hi again. Can we still get about 10 to 20% of volume up, please, especially when you are talking? Um, I don't know what's going on there with the volume, uh, but I'll see what I can do here. Uh, Floppy says, oh, I miss this sounding good sir thank you sir good morning my brother steven good morning to you sir i don't know what's going on with this um this is the second time this has been happening on me so again guys I, I apologize for the um whatever's happening with the sound this has uh been uh very weird for me uh because this this system is weird in terms of sound checking this system is like almost like it's hard to t uh, sound check it without being live so i almost have to be live to truly sound check to see what's going on so yeah um again just bear with me as i kind of work through these uh sound issues here and i do apologize again bangkok is in the building good morning to you that thanadol if i'm saying that correctly good morning to you uh let me see here not exactly sure why that wouldn't be coming in even louder than that right now so can't spend all day there uh so yeah i, I wasn't going to be on here long guys uh, again i wanted to just jump on really quickly uh before the end of this year and just say hello say hello and the other thing i wanted to uh i wanted to do is as you saw in the title what have you learned what have you learned? Just want to talk about that and really so much uh, more so for myself in terms of 2021 has been an interesting year in terms of, um, you know, lessons learned, uh, all of this different stuff that's come from 2021 coming out of 2020. We can even throw a little piece of 2019 in there, but coming out of uh, uh, 2020 into 2021, there are a lot of lessons that have for me that have been learned from going through these last few years and uh before i go too far hey you play vladimir says hey you play uh very cool from russia watch your videos very informative uh wash hands i'm not sure what the wash hands part me but thank you <laughs> thank you so much um for that vladimir i really appreciate you tuning in all the way from russia that's really really cool you guys are watching around the world thank you so much for tuning in and watching my my videos are going through the videos on this channel. I've had people, uh, not to get too sidetracked, but I've had people over the years to tell me things like, man, well, not over the years, but over the course of doing the grooves and motivation, uh, uh, looking for some bass lessons. Can you show me this? Can you show me that? Well, there's a 
plethora of bass lessons right here on this channel, Jermaine Morgan Bass Lessons. So it's not false advertisement. There are bass lessons here on this channel. I've been doing bass lessons here for several years. So there are a lot of nuggets here. And if there's not enough here for you on this channel and you enjoy my teaching and you want to get a little bit more into it, I encourage you to check out JermaineMorgan.net. Uh, I'll put that on the screen uh, where you can find exclusive bass lessons uh, there as well. So I encourage you guys to check that out when you when you have time, if you're looking for more help, especially as it relates to uh, gospel music and learning to play and apply uh, different cool licks and that kind of things. Those are two things that I do specialize in. They're on the site uh, with helping you with gospel music learning, uh, more so focusing on ear training, that type of thing. So, yeah, a little sidebar I wanted to kind of add there for you guys who are interested in, in learning a little bit more about what I do and how I do what I do. Uh, the majority of it comes from my influence in gospel, a little jazz there, um, but more so gospel music, how it's kind of afforded me a lot of great opportunities. And so I want to share that information with you as well if you're interested in learning. So, yeah, as as I uh, move on, uh, I just wanted to uh, come back to the fact that, yeah, 2021 has been a year of learning. One of my biggest takeaways, I think, from this year is understanding that nothing happens overnight. I think that's a, a huge takeaway from this year is understanding that nothing happens overnight. And um, a lot of times the success journey that you're on might not end up looking like what you thought it should look like when you started. But that does not uh, that's not to say that you're not still on a success journey. Some of us get distracted when we don't see the result of the work that we're putting in or it seems like it's taking too long, that type of thing. What I've learned about me, <laughs> what I've learned about me in general, is that I have the tendency to, to be very impatient. And if you are a musician watching this, which 90% of you guys are, I'm sure, most of us music musicians are naturally perfectionists. So when you are a perfectionist, it's easy to become impatient, number one, and it's easy to um you know to second guess everything because again we're trying to we're trying to strive for perfection in a sense not necessarily looking to be completely perfect but when we're playing it's like if you're a perfectionist at nature you're looking for everything to be right and oftentimes you discredit the things that don't look like what you envisioned in your mind that's the i'm not gonna call it a curse because that's a bad word but that's the bad part about being a um perfectionist uh, Team Ramrod, good morning to you. So oftentimes myself, I find myself discrediting a lot of things that happen. What I've had to do, even as recent as, as yesterday, I was talking to my kids and telling them, you know, as I reflect on the year, I remind myself of the good things that have happened. Uh, I, I started to put the title as you have to remember or something along the lines of please remember or something like that. But I just I went with uh, what I went with in terms of what have you learned. But oftentimes, the good things that happen in our life are railroaded a lot of times by the bad. And we don't acknowledge the good as, as much as we should. And because we don't acknowledge uh, the, the good as much as we should, we soon forget about it. And it's easy to speed past uh, all the good that happened in your life and to, and to highlight a negative event because the negative gets more publicity. I mean, look at the airways in terms of the news. All this different stuff. The negative seems to be the thing that people are more interested in hearing about. All right. Negative news gets ratings. Uh, <laughs> this um, for you guys that are on social media, you already know anything that's world star is almost going to probably be trash. It, it doesn't matter what it is. It's probably going to be a fight. It's probably going to be something, you know, something raunchy or something like that. And, you know, the host that world star, you hear that. And you already can expect something to be negative, whatever it is, because that gets ratings. People, for some reason, are drawn to negativity. So when we're drawn to that negativity, it's easy to dismiss anything good that's happening. So I, my challenge to you guys who are watching me this morning is as you reflect on the year of 2021, don't count up all of your losses. Look at how many wins that you've had this year. And with those wins, how, did, how do they measure up against the losses? I mean, when you do that, 
check out all of the wins, the, even the ones that you consider small, because little progress beats no progress all the time. Uh, just a, a little bit of something, uh, what's the saying? A little bit of something beats a whole bunch of nothing. So if you can check out the little bit of progress that you've been making as you've been inching towards the things you've been trying to do, you'll see, man, like, wow, I've, I've come a long way. And oftentimes you got to just turn around and look where you were in comparison to where you are. And then when you kind of can look at where you are, it's like, wow, I, ain't, I didn't know I'd done that much. I didn't know I accomplished that much this year. I didn't know that this happened, that happened, and I got through it. I'm still here. You know, two years ago, I probably would have lost my mind had I went through some of these things. But I can see my own growth. I can see my own maturity. So that's another thing that we have to do. Uh, Cyrex, good morning to you. A Angel says, sorry uh, for logging. Man, you're good. You're good. Uh, yeah, I'm not paying you to be here on time. <laughs> so you're good. Marcus, good morning to you. Uh, and uh, Cyrex says, amen, bro. That's all true. Team Ramrods says, progress is progress. Yes, sir. Good work. So that's what I'm saying. So, again, I had to do a, re a reflection for myself to kind of look at the year because there were some great things that happened this year that I literally forgot about. I was like, Man, I forgot that even happened. It's like some really monumental uh, points in my life that were overshadowed by something uh, whack or something, <laughs> something trash that happened. So they seem like they overshadowed the moment. Case in point, about, it was several years ago, probably four, four or five years ago, maybe not that much, but at least four years ago, I want to say now, I paid off uh, one of my vehicles. And it was like a super win for me and my wife. But just like life happens, I couldn't really celebrate the win because at the same time, it's like simultaneously while you're winning, there most of the time there's a, a fail somewhere waiting around the corner to happen or something that's perceived to be a fail or a setback. Uh, paid my truck off, happy about that. And immediately uh, my uh, basement starts flooding at my old house. The basement starts flooding come to find out there's some pipes that had some roots growing through the pipes and not to mention the septic tank was just messed up the sept i had to replace the septic tank had to replace the pipe so i got hit across the head with a big bill that i was not expecting and <laughs> so the time that i should be celebrating hey we had this really huge win i paid this vehicle off and that's a huge win but simultaneously i'm suffering what seems to be a huge loss so that took front and center. So immediately the huge win I just had got thrown in the back. Like, now we ain't got time to celebrate that. But I'm challenging you guys, and I'm having to learn, and I had to learn this. Celebrate the wins. Doesn't matter what's happening around it, you still have to celebrate those wins. You need that. Uh, you need that for your own personal self. You need it's it's something that it builds up in your own personal system. I can't think of the word that I'm I'm thinking about now, but it it creates endorphins, that kind of thing. And if you rob yourself of that and you don't allow yourself to experience that win and experience that celebration, it's almost like you just kind of get just real nonchalant about everything. Nothing about life seems to be exciting. This is talking specifically when we have wins. And when we have losses and how we handle those different wins, how we handle those losses. If you don't take time to celebrate those small wins, whether they're huge or whether they're small, it's like your brain goes into this autopilot of, you know what, it doesn't even matter. And let me acknowledge real quick, Tay, Bass Walker, thank you for the super chat of $20. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Um, uh, he says, thank you for your work for us. Man, to God be the glory. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So I just want to acknowledge that really quick that I did see that pop up on my uh, my screen here. Well, let me highlight you really quick. There you go. Tay Base. Thank you so much, man. So I remember, Marcus says, I remember from my pastor, a setback is a setup. It's all good. You will win. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think I heard my brother say, one time or it might have been my dad i can't remember which one <laughs> one of them said after you go so far down ain't nowhere else to go but up so it's like after you keep being pushed down it's like uh i heard this analogy of um was it this uh this donkey that got dropped into this hole he accidentally fell into like this pit and um i think somebody was trying to throw dirt on him and every time somebody threw dirt on him he shook it off 
and he stood up a little bit higher. So they kept putting dirt in the pit, trying to fill the pit in. I don't know if it was from some construction workers or whatever it was, but he kept shaking the dirt off of him. And the more he shook the dirt off of him, the more the dirt got under his feet and it created a foundation for him. So as they were filling the hole up, he wasn't getting depressed about the fact that he was stuck in the hole. He just kept shaking the dust off of him, shaking the dirt off of him. And the more he shook it off, the higher he went. So the more we keep shaking off the different things, the different letdowns, the different setbacks and stuff that we experience and use that as a foundation, shake it off and use it as a foundation to build up on. We come higher and higher and higher. And before you know it, you're able to just walk up out of the hole where the average person will be trying to figure out how to claw and climb their way out of it. You just keep shaking it off, keep shaking it off, finding the positive. And that's the thing I would say about shaking it off. You're literally finding the positive in that. Is there a positive? Is there something praiseworthy that I can look at from this uh, situation and say, you know what? This was kind of whack, but this is kind of cool. The positive takeaway from the scenario that happened uh, when it comes to my septic tank situation, the positive about that, I do my own yard. I have for years. I love doing it. It's kind of therapeutic for me. So I was doing my yard and just say my lawnmower at any point could have fell in that septic tank and that could have been that could have been not cool for me. You know what I'm saying? Things we don't think about because I didn't know how bad the ground underneath the grass was. I knew it was sinking, but I didn't think much of it. I just thought it was a, a you know, a natural sinking spot in the ground. I didn't think, "Hey, this thing has basically the septic tank had collapsed." That's what was going on. And so when they opened the septic tank up, it was bone dry. It was nothing in it. And y'all know if you know anything about septic tanks, that ain't right. Something ain't right about that. So when they opened it up, it was bone dry because the thing had collapsed. So at any moment while I was doing my lawn, I could have fell in. You know, I could have lawn more and all, went in a septic tank. You know, on top of the fact that being disgusting, that could have been deadly. You know what I'm saying? So looking at it positively, even though I feel like I suffered a loss because I had to come off of this money, well, it was a win for me because two things. I didn't die <laughs> from falling into the septic tank. And number two, uh, when I got ready to sell my house, that counted towards, you know, things that I'd done to the property. So it actually took up the value of my property when I got ready to sell my house because I had recently replaced the septic tank. So what ended up seeming like a loss in the moment turned out in the long scheme of things to be a win. Because, you know, I got more money for my house because I replaced the septic tank. So a lot of times we have to, again, when we're shaking the dust off from these problems, we have to look at it from the standpoint of what am I, what am I gaining from this problem? That way you take control of the situation that is happening. What am I gaining from this situation? Yeah, it's bad. It feels bad. But what am I gaining from this? How am I going to win in this situation? Instead of looking at it as a complete loss, how how am I going to win? How can I win? You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you guys. And hopefully that that's making you rethink your year. Even if you feel like you've had a terrible 2021, like, man, this happened, that happened. I'm pretty sure if I pass this mic around for you guys and just brought you in this live chat, everybody could have an old sad story. And we can pull out a violin and just play a sad, you know, <laughs> what is it? play us some sad music for you because your year was so bad and everybody's year was so bad but I challenge you to change your perspective on how you see your year how you've seen 2021 has it been a curse for you I mean and don't get me wrong I know some a, a lot of bad things have happened I've lost some close friends this year I've lost some family members uh, I lost two aunts this year uh, for my Mississippi folks I lost two aunties this year you know so it, it's, it's been a tough year in one regard, but at the same time, it's been a, a, a year that I can reflect on and say, you know what, this is good. Not that people died, not that there were some losses, I'm not saying that, but what I was able to learn from it in the different perspective that it gave me concerning this year, it gave me, you know, the mindset, that, you know, what, I need to appreciate the people in my life a little bit more. I need to maybe check on some of these folks a little bit more. Maybe I need to... Um, make a few more trips home or it's anything, you know, whatever I gained positively from this year, I can look at that and take that win away instead of looking at everything as a complete loss, right? 
Uh, let's see here. Who else we have on here this morning? Cyrix. Uh, wait a minute. Nikos? Nikos? You guys can hear I'm a little hoarse. If you're used to my voice, you know this ain't it. <laughs> uh, Peter? Peter? Peter Johannesson? If I'm saying that right, if I'm not, forgive me. Uh, base greetings from Sweden. Nikos says hello from the Ukraine. Cyrix says, bro, I will try to come more to your live stream. So many good truths. Not everything is only techniques and notes. Not at all. Not at all. We still have to live after we get through practicing. After we get through playing the gig, you still have to live. That's, that's kind of where I'm coming from, right? Uh, Sean Lewis, good morning to you. Uh, Zion, Illinois is in the building. I've never been to Zion, Illinois. Uh, I need to check that out. Team Ramrod says it's all about perspective. A blessing is a blessing, even if it bestowed on some, even if it's bestowed to someone else. That's really good. I'm gonna come back to that. Um, the greatest secret to living effectively on Earth is to understanding the principles and the power of priorities. Miles Monroe. I'm gonna say, man, Stephen, you hitting us with these gems this morning. <laughs> That's all right, man. That's good. That's good. Uh, Mike, what's up, man? My brother, Mike McLemore, you guys, I had to shout him out real quick. If you have heard any of my music, Mike has played on uh, several of my albums. One in particular that he's featured on is You Got It. It's a song. You can stream it right here on YouTube. Uh, Grooves and Ideas is the name of the record. And the song is called You Got It. Mike is a phenomenal uh, piano player, keyboardist, producer, engineer, all of the above. Uh, father we got to point out that so while we highlight good stuff mike is an excellent father husband all that kind of stuff so that's my bro i had to shout him out really quick really quick so team ramrod says um it's all about i like this, this is why i'm coming back to it it's all about perspective let me put this on the screen where you guys can see this it's all about perspective a blessing is a blessing even if it is bestowed uh to someone else one of the things i want to say in regards to that is we have to learn how to celebrate others in their wins. We have to learn how to celebrate others and even get behind them and support them in their wins. My brother, my blood brother, I don't have one brother. My blood brother, I don't know if he's watching this morning, but if he is, good morning, Ken. <laughs> uh, but my, my blood brother has a business, and recently I've kind of partnered with him and helping him with his business, and he's helping me actually, but it's it's been a lot of, fun in terms of watching the growth of the business and watching how you know god is blessing the business and it's just kind of growing and growing and growing and i celebrate him in his win because it's like you know it, it direct it, not that i'm getting something out of it but the fact that you're seeing somebody that you know that works hard somebody that doesn't cut corners they have a, a level of integrity and now when you see something good happening for this person i think that's something good to celebrate so I, I wanted to be a part of this win that's happening for him just to be on his team to make sure that this thing is sustained, not that I'm the one that's going to make sure it's sustained, but to get behind it and to show, you know what, I support this. I support what you're doing, like some of you guys have done, even as it relates to JermaineMorgan.net, the website. I, uh, I'm blown away each time a person, um, each time a person purchases one of these straps. If you guys didn't know, I have my own line of straps. It's uh ironically enough it's it's uh let me see if i don't pull my headphones off uh for you guys that are interested i wanted to show you this i didn't mean to talk about this but i'm just making a point i have my own line of straps that um we uh have been creating i ain't creating it i just kind of gave my ideas and the guy from brazil designs these straps and uh and my point to this is so many of you all have supported this and this idea i've so many of these straps so far and, and i'm completely blown away i am completely shocked that people wanted to purchase these straps because i don't think of myself that highly or i don't think of myself in that way and i know the straps are good quality it's not like it's some cheap straps or anything like that and uh but i'm just blown away that people want to support the vision that's the thing that i'm talking about getting behind someone else and supporting what it is that they do because you don't know what type of you don't know how that person is going to use that and do the same for someone else. And so when you can get behind someone, when it's your turn, it's like for some reason, those people seem to find you because you've been supporting other people. 
like now when it's your turn, these people support you. So oftentimes in our life, when we're doing certain things and we seem like we can't really find the help that we're looking for, maybe you should do, what is it, introspect? You should look at yourself and look like, wait a minute. How much have I been pouring into the life of someone else? How much have I helped other people? You know what I'm saying? How much have I given away? How much have I given till it cost me something? Not something that's convenient for you. Have you put yourself in a position that makes you uncomfortable for the sake or for the benefit of someone else? And if you've done that, you're able to reap these benefits in due season. It didn't happen all right away. So some of you guys might be saying, well, you know, I've been helping people and I've been doing this for the last six months. I committed to doing this. Well, you don't always reap in the same season that you sow. But in time, when it's the right time, it comes back to you. This is a principle that I'm not making up. This is a biblical principle. You reap what you sow. So that doesn't always mean something bad that you put in the ground. Sometimes you put good things in the ground. The way you treat people, the way you handle people, just something, a simple gesture as opening the door for someone when they get ready to come in. Now all of a sudden, you're somewhere, you're walking out of the door with a handful of stuff, and someone opens the door for you. You don't think much of it, but you're reaping something that you sown because someone could have just very well walked out and let you been sitting there, you know, holding boxes or whatever the case may be. So even if you're in a season where you feel like you've been doing a lot of good and it's not returning to you, as a scripture that talks about, don't grow weary in well-doing. For in due season, you will reap if you don't faint, if you don't give up, if you don't lose heart, if you don't lose hope. In a due season, in the right time, that's what that means, in the right time, you're going to get back what you put out. You're going to get it back. And oftentimes it comes back in a greater proportion than what you've given. So, you know, just keep doing well. Keep doing good to people. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn around. It's going to come back to you. It's just, it's just a principle. It just works. Uh, Sean Lewis says, thank you for being a vessel that God is using, not only to bless us with your gift of music, but also bringing the word of God to uplift and encourage others. All right. Well, <laughs> Well, thank you, Sean, for that. To God be the glory. I didn't think of it as the word of God, but hey, if that's what you're receiving, as to God be the glory for it. And I'm um, glad to be a vessel, man. And I appreciate you being here for even listening. Um, that's To me, that shows a different level of uh, maturity as a musician, to be able to sit and listen. I think a lot of the stuff that I gained throughout my life uh, later on, because I wasn't always one who would sit down and listen to something, but developing the ability to stop stop talking stop playing you know stop playing for a minute and just listen see what nuggets you can take in because there is some wisdom to be gained you can talk to some people who might be around your same age but they've done a little bit more than you and you can gain even the business that my brother and I are working in he's uh as I'm working with him he's pouring a lot of wisdom to me in in terms of the ups and downs that he's had in terms of his business and I'm just sitting there soaking it up. I'm soaking it up. Even though I have my own business and I have my own thing that I've been doing, this is totally different from what I've been doing. And the wisdom that he's given me, I'm literally sitting there like a, ki a little kid and soaking all of it up. I'm taking all of it in because I know from experience you can learn a lot just by listening, just by gaining wisdom from someone who's been there, someone who's experienced. If I can learn from your problem, then that means I don't have to go through that problem specifically. At least I don't have to run into it blind uh, it's it because you've been through that already. If I am or if I end up being faced with that problem somewhere down the road, at least I have an answer. I have a solution. I have a strategy now that I can take and get through that a little bit better than this person navigated it because they're giving me wisdom. So if you can sit and listen and gain wisdom, that means you've matured. You've matured and you've grown. So Give yourself a pat on the back for even being willing to listen to anything I say uh, because it shows a level of maturity, a level of growth that you're trying to grow, that you're trying to improve. You're trying to become the better version of you. So I applaud all of you guys who are even listening to anything I'm saying because I wouldn't be here just trying to waste your time. Um, uh, Cyrix says, I, bro, need to go, but I will continue watching. Blessings, bro, and uh, everyone on this chat. Thank you, Cyrex, man. I really, really appreciate you tuning in. Everybody who's tuning in this morning, thank you so much. Uh, never stop your ability. Very good, Sean. Absolutely. Never stop, man. <laughs> never stop learning because it, it, there's always a lesson in everything. Kind of like the going back to what I said earlier in terms of the whole uh, septic tank issue. There's a lesson in that. 
there's a lesson in that, a lesson about, you know, you don't always know why something happened. You're just looking at it as, man, I lost some money. Uh, me personally, I lost some money and this, that, and the other. But it's like, no, I just gave you some more time with your family because it might have been on schedule for you to fall into that septic tank and on a lawnmower that the blades are going, that could have been tragic. So instead of being bitter, be thankful that you did find out about this problem. Yes, it costs you, but what you paid in terms of this problem doesn't amount, it doesn't even measure up to what you gain because of this problem, right? The wisdom that you gain, uh, what you are able to take away from this. So, right? Mike says, uh, proud of you, bro. Dope straps. Appreciate you, dude. Appreciate you, man. So, yeah, these straps are uh, made by Evo. E-V-O. If you don't like my strap, if you don't want my strap, they do make other straps. Um, you can follow them on Instagram, but it's Evo straps. E-V-O straps. Uh, I can't think of the name of the website. It might be evostraps.com. I, I don't want to send y'all to the wrong place. Best thing I can say is follow them on on YouTube, that way you get the accurate, uh, I think I have their website on my website, but I don't know it right off the top of my head, but it's Evo Straps, so be sure to follow them there on Instagram, and that way you could see some of their different designs, if you're like, man, I don't want no Jermaine Morgan strap, <laughs> but they do have some other stuff that you can, you can check out, really quality, uh, nice looking straps that I think uh, if you have some cool bases, uh, they, they will suit your base really, really well, that's how I got hip to him. I, I was literally, I'll give y'all this quick story. Like, yeah, I was literally trying to find something different for this base. I was having this base built and I'm like, you know what? I got like custom straps with my warrior base and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, I would sure like to have something different, something custom for this new base that I got coming. I don't, you know, I see these other straps out here and they're cool, but I, I really don't want that. I want something different. I want something unique. And I ran across, I was already following them, but I ran across a design that they did for somebody else. And I was like, man, that's that's kind of cool. I wonder if he could take my logo and put it on a strap. And uh, and I reached out to the, the guy who makes the straps, and he was like, yeah, I can do that. Uh, of course, he doesn't speak English, so we had a little language barrier there. But in a sense, he said, yes, I can do that. And... Uh, what happened is when he made my straps, because I wasn't trying to <laughs> start a strap line, when he made my straps, he posted pictures of the design, and I reposted his uh, picture, and people started asking for the straps. I was like, I, these were supposed to be for me, <laughs> but since y'all are interested, okay, I'll make them available on the website, so that's how that all came about, so to God be the glory for that. Oftentimes, you don't even know how things are lined up for you. It's it's there's a scripture that I like. I'm not trying to preach, but there's a scripture, a verse that I like that says delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. It's like certain things you didn't even know it was a desire, but because you're trying to do right, because you're trying to have the right standing, the right relationship, it's like certain things you'll begin to get a desire for that you at one point didn't even desire. It's like I didn't desire to have my own straps is like now I have a desire to, you know, serve or uh, do different things or make these available for people that I didn't have before. And so there's something that I was given that I didn't necessarily look for, but it was handed to me. Right. Uh, Mike says, so reap. God gives the harvest for real, for real. Absolutely, man. Skarabi, good morning to you. Yo, Jermaine, I'm back again. I did it. I got married. Now I'm ready for my bass lessons. Greetings from Paris. Man, congratulations to you uh, on the marriage. And if you guys will celebrate my guy Skarabi on getting married, uh, I think it's a beautiful thing. Marriage is a, a really, really beautiful thing. Uh, and, I, and especially between a man and a woman. Listen, uh, it's a really, really beautiful thing. And I think um, you guys should definitely celebrate that. And, yeah, it's, it's something that uh, – it's, it's something that's good. I'll just leave it at that. It's something that's really, really good. It can be what you make out of it. I've heard horror stories, especially in the West, concerning marriage. I've heard a lot of horror stories about it, but I'm a living witness 14 years in. It is what you make of it. It is, you get out of it what you put into it. It's kind of like playing this bass. You get out of it what you put into it. You put a lot of time into it. Sometimes things don't always go the way you want to, but you get out of it 
uh, what you put into it. And a lot of times making the right decision, I will add that, making the right decision in the beginning can help save you a lot of trouble, a lot of time, <laughs> you know, because if you don't if you don't use wisdom getting into that thing, then it, it might not be that good for you. It might be it's just a nightmare, you know. So use wisdom. Choose wisely. But all in all, uh, with God in it, man, it, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Um, and you got people that's dropping the congratulations in the comments. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to jump on really quick. I got to jump off, do some stuff. Um, but I, I'm definitely grateful that you uh, decided to join in with me today. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to play a little bit more for you. And then we're going to go. So let's see here. I got this track I hadn't played in a while. Let's see if I can play this. Hopefully it does right. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh, these backing tracks are available here on YouTube as well. Sunday morning. Oh yeah, Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year.
out of track. All right, guys, <laughs> that's it for me. And again, I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for watching. And before I forget to mention, uh, let, me, well, let me read this last little comment here. I uh, last couple of comments. Uh, looking forward to more of these next year. Uh, thank you, Floppy. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Says thank you, sir. It's truly been a blessing this morning. I've been working on that track. I just need to develop my speed. Yeah, keep working on it, man. It just it comes with time. It comes with time and really digging in. Really digging in with that stuff. Um, I have many reason to worship the Lord with my bass because I am. I'm sorry because He did a lot for me this year, 2021. New house, wedding, health. I'll return to the church on 1231 to celebrate the Lord in my church. Awesome, man. That's that's great to hear. Great to hear. Carter Paul, what up, dog? <laughs> What's good, man? Hopefully all is well with you. And, and again, with all you guys, I hope uh, what I've shared today has been helpful. I apologize for the uh, the technical stuff. It looks like I'm going to have to do something, uh, a little Facebook Live or a little Dami Live somewhere to really work out the kinks and figure out what's going on with this sound because i this i'm not showing it but it really annoys me that that's not working correctly i told y'all i'm a perfectionist so i don't like that i don't like it at all but it's all good um sean lewis is happy holidays uh and happy new year uh, jermaine to you and your family same to you man same to you uh thanks for all you do carter i really appreciate that man i really appreciate it uh yeah so Again, <clears throat> if you want to find out a little bit more about me, you don't know anything about who I am or why is this dude, <laughs> why am I listening to you, I encourage you to check out JermaineMorgan.net. There you can find uh, all that you want to know about me, what I do, what I've done. Um, not that it matters, but if you're interested in finding out any of that information, it's available there on JermaineMorgan.net. You can go to the uh, About Me tab. You can find out about the things that I offer on my website, like courses, uh, all of that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, whatever you want to know, the production, and I uh, invite you all to check that out. And so just at your leisure if you have time. And if you don't, don't worry about it. We'll catch you on the next go around. Normally, I go live on Tuesday mornings at 7.30 a.m. if I'm available to go live. That's normally when I go live. So. I really, really appreciate you guys for joining me this morning. So, again, I hope it's been helpful to not to sound like a broken record. I hope this has been really helpful for you. I want to also uh, leave with you as I leave out of here, uh, let you guys know about my book. If you haven't read my book, if you haven't purchased my book, I want to make sure that you do know about it. I wrote this book years ago. Well, not years ago. What am I talking about? I wrote this book last year. Uh, concerning uh, my batteries about, about to go out, but I, I wrote this book uh, about uh, 10 ways to success to working musicians. So anyway, I'm out. Watch this. Let me see if it if it allows me to uh, if it allows me to pull it up. It might not allow me. Let's see. Give me just a second here. This technology has been getting me today. Yeah, it might not allow me to, um, it might not allow me to pull it up. But anyway, if it doesn't, because it's for the sake of time, I'm not going to burn up time looking for this. Uh, check out 10 Ways to Success, The Working Musician. It's available there on um, Amazon. It's also available on my website. There is an audible version of it. So you can listen to the book on the go. It's a really short book. It's a really easy read. So if you're looking for more ways to earn money as a musician, check this book out. Super, super easy read. Probably like 70-something pages long. And I'll definitely give you some uh, ideas in this book of some things you can do that maybe you didn't consider before. But anyway, thank you all. I want to purchase with your signature. You can get that on the website, JermaineMorgan.net. Go to the shop tab. And uh, you can get it there, Marcus. So thank you again. Happy New Year to everybody. I'm out. And since it ain't going to let me show y'all this one, I'm going to show you another. <laughs> so I'm out. Hey, are you a bass player? Let's be honest. Aren't you tired of feeling like you're in the same place while everybody else around you is progressing? I have a solution. Trust me, I understand where you're coming from. Years ago, I used to deal with the same thing as it related to my playing. 
you see over the years I've developed a lot of different bass riffs and bass licks. And I've been able to put them in a course and to show you exactly how I do them. I'm not going to hold it all to myself. I'm going to show you exactly what it is I'm doing so you can keep up with the competition. So if you're interested in improving and actually becoming the bass player you always dreamed of, check out the Riffs and Licks Library.